Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another 10 pens currently inked this week. I think let's go through these briefly one by one. We'll go through them in a little bit more detail and then we'll do a writing sample. So from left to right, we have a Mr. Cypress and this is a uh, Karari Nuri and this is the Deep Light One. We have another Mr. Cypress and this is a Karari Nuri and this is Deep Light Number Three. We have a Mr. Cypress, and this is the Orchid Tree Val B. We have a uh, Hong Dian pen, and this is the uh, Rabbit. We have a Mr. Cypress, and this is the Eggshell 06. We have a Mr. Cypress Eggshell 05A. We have a Mr. Cypress, and this is the Raden Dragon. We have an Anoto, and this is the British Museum Great Court Vitreous. We have an Anoto, and this is the Platinum Jubilee in Sterling Silver. And we have an Anoto, and this is the Coronation in Sterling Silver. So I think let's take a look at these pens in a little bit more detail. So this is the Kawari Nuri, which is a technique uh, of Yurushi Laka and Makie. Um, it has this really beautiful sort of gold uh, dust here, red with abalone shell, and then this blue material. So, so this is the Kawanuri, uh, or Kawari Nuri, and this is the deep light red, or deep light one, I should say. Um, I've got this, there's this in the blue and this more in the reddish gold. Um, very, very nice uh, sort of abalone shell. This very much reminds me of a Pelican M1000 uh, rather than sunlight. Uh, I'd say maybe more this one perhaps because that is typically a red pen, the, the rather than sunlight. But uh, when, I, when I saw these pens at Mr. Cypress, I really thought that these would look nice next to my Pelicans, Rardens. And so I decided I would uh, buy these. And it is a very, very beautiful pen. You can see the abalone shell there with the gold dust. Um, I think pretty much a lot of the, the Mr. Cypress, certainly the, the Urushi ones, do not have uh, clips on them. So they are clipless pens. Uh, I've got this with a Mr. Cypress, and it's a uh, 14 karat gold nib. Uh, these nibs for Mr. Cypress, or the branded Mr. Cypress nibs, are uh, made by Canwright in India, as far as I'm uh, aware. Um, you can post the cap, but it's really not going to post very deeply. So let me show you here. You, it will post probably about a centimeter onto the back of that pen. So they're really not designed to be posted. Um, these are cartridge converter pens. Um, they are a little bit shorter and thinner than, than I normally would like or would prefer, I guess. Uh, but I do enjoy writing with these. So I've got this one inked up uh, this week. And then I also have the Mr. Cypress Kawari Nuri. And this is the Deep Light 3. And um, this is the more redder ver version, and this is the one that reminds me a little bit more of a Pelican M1000 rather than Sunlight, because it has very similar red and also abalone strips as well. Uh, this one does have gold here, uh, or maybe not gold, but it's it's more of a beige sort of dust. Um, I, I think it, it's to to reflect gold, honestly. But this is quite a beautiful pen. Again, it's clipless. Uh, it is a torpedo-shaped pen, and I did get this with a 14 cap medium nib, like the the previous uh, Mr. Cypress. There, uh, they are cartridge converters. And again, in terms of posting the cap, let me show you here. You really can't post it. Like it, it will post onto the back, but it's gonna fall off. So really, it's not designed to be posted. So. Uh, I think uh, from that perspective, and I've got a little bit of ink there on, on the back of the pen uh, from ink in, in the cap, perhaps. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really not designed to be posted, but this really is a, a quite a beautiful pen. So again, I, 
when I saw this at Mr. Cypress, I, I decided I, if I were going to pick up one, I think the red one would, would, was the one that I liked the look of the most, but I felt that I would probably need to pick up both. Uh, the caps are interchangeable, so I can actually make this one having gold dust on the cap and on the body. So that, that's also a bonus now that I've got two of them. And I, I'm still thinking of actually doing that because I think it actually makes it look maybe a little bit nicer. Um, but I haven't done it yet. The next one here is a Mr. Cypress. And this is the Orchid Tree Val B. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, imprint of the leaf. Uh, and again, it is a uh, Kawari Nuri. Um, and it, the, the way that they've imprinted this, so it's effectively a gold leaf that I believe is painted. And then they just put the leaf onto the pen and, and let it imprint uh, and then remove it. Uh, and it's like uh, you would maybe sort of paint leaves and put them into and press them into a notebook and you would get an imprint of that leaf it's it's essentially the same i believe that the way that they've done this but it's also a beautiful red material with a lot of gold dust in it as well so i, I do like uh that approach uh, it is a an interesting pen again clipless uh and i have got a 14 count gold medium mr cypress nib Again, uh, these nibs are made by Canwright in India. Um, I can post the cap a lot more se securely. Um, it still doesn't post deeply, but I can post that cap if I want to. Um, again, though, this is a uh, thinner section, shorter pen, so it's not my typical size of pen <laughs> that I, I like in, in the second half of this pen tray. But... Uh, I still like the pens and, and I like the design and I thought it was worth buying those pens. So I am glad that I, I do have those added uh, to my collection. And then I think it was in the summer, I, I saw uh, a couple of Hong Dian pens and one was the maple leaf and one was this rabbit. And you can see this rabbit here um, on the pen. So, so this is like almost like scratch engraved. Uh, and painted uh, in. Uh, it's interesting because uh, you, you do, you see a lot of um, sort of branches here. Um, there's another rabbit here as well. Uh, it's an interesting pen and it was a, a cheap pen as well. Um, it is made of, I want to say brass, I believe. Um, it's, it is a weighty pen. It's not a resin pen. Certainly the cap is weighty and uh, you can probably see that there, that it, it really um, has uh, got a, um, it, it is a brass cap, essentially. Uh, the pen, again, though, is on the thin side. It is on the short side. You can post the cap. It does have a clip on the cap as well. Uh, and it just comes with this Hong Dian uh, nib. Uh, it's a steel nib, uh, but it's got a rabbit on it. And uh, this was really an afterthought. I, I bought, I, I really wanted the maple leaf, and I, and I saw this one and I thought, well, for the price uh, of of that pen, and I, I I want to think it was something like 10 or 12 pounds. So I, I bought the maple leaf and I bought this one as well. Um, might have been a little bit more. It might, it certainly, I don't think it was more than 20 pounds. So it was a cheap pen in theory, in comparison with maybe Alami Safari, something along that price uh, bracket or price range. So uh, I think from that perspective, for me, it was a cheap pen, but I thought, you know what, Let, let's let's um, uh, buy it. But um, the, the difference is that this has what they call a blade nib, and that was the thing that interested me the most. Uh, I got it on both these pens. So essentially, I don't know if you can see that there, but it, it has like a Naganata Togi or Architect grind to that nib. So uh, it gives a little bit of character to how that nib writes, and have to say, I I am liking writing with that pen, and I do have a, Nag a sailor. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the uh, the actual model. Um, it's just a regular um, sailor. Um, it's not a king of pen, um, and and it's 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 a Naganata Togi nib. So I have that. Um, I also have a few nibs that I have ground to an architect nib, which is almost similar to an Aganata Togi, and I like writing with them. So I decided I would get 
this this pen along with also the maple leaf pen from Hong Dian as well at the same time. The next pen was actually my first uh, Mr. Cypress pen. Really like the design on this. Uh, so the um, eggshell here, um, unlike Tatcha, is is not quail's eggs, it's duck's eggs. But this is uh, quite a, a nice pattern here. You've got the abalone strips here of Varden as well. The pattern lines up perfectly between the cap and the body. I just think it really, really looks nice. So this was the first uh, Mr. Cypress pen that I bought. Uh, and I've bought, uh, I think, seven more since then. Uh, this uh, this was the the first, because uh, it was the first one I bought. I actually bought this in an 18 karat gold uh, Mr. Cypress nib. And uh, I really don't see a lot of difference between the 14 karat and the 18 karat gold nibs. But typically, I don't normally see the difference anyway on say a Visconti 14 count versus an 18 count gold nib. So um, I'd say just a little bit of money. Uh, I think it was $30 um, by on the other pens by going for a 14 count instead of an 18 count nib. Um, again, cartridge converter, you can't post the cap. It is a flat top, um, but this is a long pen. Uh, and uh, these are the size of the pens that I typically like nowadays. They are longer and more girthier pens. Uh, I just find that they are for me more comfortable to write with and i know a lot of people will say they can't write with a a long or girthy or heavy pen because it gives them hand cramp or hand fatigue i'm the opposite i find that with a short or a, th or a thin pen um and so it's just i don't know it, it's just the way like i i never could write with a pen of this weight these sterling silver pens but now i can uh i think over the last six or so seven years i've i've sort of started using longer pens more girthier more heavier pens and it's just become something that i have become more accustomed to uh the next pen i have inked up this week is the mr cypress and again another eggshell uh this is called the 05a beautiful i like the amount of eggshell again it's it's duck's eggs not quail's eggs but I like the amount of um, eggshell there. Uh, I like the Varden. I, I do find this one, though, the Varden abalone strips are a little bit more closer together. There's no sort of almost gap between those Varden strips. Um, it just reminds me of, of icicles and snow. And uh, it really, really, it's a Christmassy pen. And obviously Christmas is coming up now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful pen. Uh, again, it's a flat top, so you're not going to be able to post this cap. Uh, and I did get a 14 cat gold nib, but look at the section here. Look at how how that sparkles. So uh, I am liking these sections from Mr. Cypress. Uh, it is a cartridge converter again, uh, so you you uh, will be able to fill it up with about 0.7 milliliters of ink. Um, it's not a piston fill. Uh, Mr. Cypress, at least at this moment in time, I've not seen them doing any piston filling pens. It is all cartridge converters. And I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, I have lots of power vacs. I have lots of piston filling pens. But honestly, it's much easier to clean and maintain a cartridge converter pen. And if that cartridge converter fails, you can replace it. If a piston or a power vac filling mechanism fails in a pen you've got to send it away to somebody to try and repair it and they may or may not be able to repair it so for me i'm actually liking cartridge converters a bit more yes i do have to i do go through more ink and i do have to refill them more often but i honestly am liking cartridge converters more the next pen here is uh, again a mr cypress and this is the Raden dragon and when I saw this at Mr. Cypress, this is the last, uh, at the moment, uh, Mr. Cypress pen that I've purchased. But I am I, I saw this and I was loving it. It's actually a lot more expensive than the other sort of eggshell Mr. Cypress pens. Um, but I want to say it's about 50% more. But this uh, was really worth it. And I have to say, this, this is absolutely stunning. I really, really do like that. So... Um, you can see here, you've got the, the dragon here on the cap. Uh, and it literally just winds its way around the, the body there. Uh, and then you've got all of these other um, images of sort of rocks and wind and that. And 
it it just really really is stunning and so you, you on both ends you have a little bit of i, I guess wind there uh it's just a beautiful pen and um not i'm not so much of a fan of this section i honestly i think would prefer the glittery section uh and i might i can probably swap those sections out to be honest so i might even do that um on one of the other mr cypress pens i got this with a 14 cat gold uh, mr cypress nib um these mr cypress pens are all medium nibs that i got uh i didn't get any find um i do find though that the mr cypress nibs are fairly firm uh these nibs are made by camlight in india they're not flexy or bouncy maybe a slight bounce on them but not a lot um so uh yeah i i'm really liking that pen a lot so i'm writing with that this week uh and then an, an old favorite of mine is this one and <laughs> look at this it only just about fits in my pen tray here so this is the Anoto British Museum Great Court Vitreous. Vitreous is an enamel. Uh, so this is a sterling silver pen. So it is heavy uh, with this beautiful enamel uh, on the pen. And this was actually made by the same artisans that make the David Oscarson pens. And they are not cheap pens. And this is not a cheap pen. But I managed to pick this up uh, from Royal Izod's for second hand for... A very good price and um, I'm really glad that I bought this because I was worried this pen would actually slip away and I wouldn't be able to get it um, I wouldn't be buying this brand new for, for the new price uh, not that it's not worth it it probably is worth and definitely is worth it but it's a lot of money and so I'm glad that I was able to pick this up a lot cheaper from Roy um, at Izod. Um, I didn't get to choose a nib because it was a second-hand pen. So this is a fine uh, Anoto number no. seven, 18 count gold nib. Again, a cartridge converter. Um, these uh, are not designed. These silver pens are not designed to be posted. But this is a really beautiful pen. I love writing with it. I I typically prefer the medium nibs of Anotos because they are more wetter and broader. Um, but I've got a few of these in fine nibs, and I do like how they write. Really good for letter writing, and I just like them. Although more lately on on like these pens, I have picked up a medium nib because I am finding the fine nibs, although nice writers, they're not quite as wet, and 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 I just feel strange enough at, at my pen club um one, one of the one of the people that that attend has said on a number of occasions when i've taken my pens there that that these two pens write magically uh actually it probably wasn't the word he, andrew used but but um these these are perfection um in terms of how they write whereas this one um doesn't write maybe as well it, it's not that there's anything wrong with the nib it's just that it writes very fine. Um, these are just beautiful writing nibs, uh, being the medium nib, being very wet, uh, fire hose nibs. So this uh, pen here is the uh, Anoto Platinum Jubilee Sterling Silver. And uh, this was obviously made obviously before Queen Elizabeth II passed away. Um, but this was the Jubilee year, so... Um, this pen was made uh, in her honour, uh, and you can see there the um, crown, um, and it really platinum jubilee there. So um, this was 2022. Just looking, yeah, it was 2022. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, she passed away not long after. Um, so I decided, uh, I, I hadn't had this pen at that point, but I decided I wanted a pen to remember the Queen uh, by, and and I absolutely love this pen, so uh, why wouldn't I? And um, it's just a beautiful pen. A little bit inky there around the section. Uh, I did uh, re-ink this up recently, so it probably does have uh, maybe a little bit of ink in the cap. Um, this uh, is a number seven size Anoto 18 cat gold nib, but as I said, this is a medium nib. Um, now, the, this does come with a plunger filler. I, I've got it with a cartridge converter at the moment. 
uh, I just prefer, like I said, the, the cartridge converters at the moment. Um, so I have swapped them out. The, the plunger filler is a removable uh, plunger filler. Uh, it's just like a massive oversized converter. Uh, and then the final pen here is the Enoto Coronation. Now, I bought both of these in June this year at the same time. Uh, they cost a lot of money. Um, but I figured if I was picking up the Platinum Jubilee, I wanted the Coronation as well. And, and this, the Coronation is obviously for King Charles III, uh, now that he is king in the UK. And um, I, I just... I like the ornate work on this cap. Just look at the amount of detail on this pen. So beautiful, beautiful pen. And um, I really do like it. So um, I've got that one inked up with me this week as well. So there you have it. That's my Coney ink pens for this week. I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So the first pen here is the Mr. Cypress. And this is the Kawari Nuri Deep light one so i think let's do uh an ink swatch to start with now i said that these nibs are quite rigid um there is just a slight bounce to them but not anything that you would see uh in either a flex nib or a bouncy nib um and i'm thinking of nibs like maybe the pelican m1000 that are quite flexy and bouncy it's not to that level but this is the uh, Mr. Cypress, and it is the Kawari Nuri, and it's the Deep Light one. And you can actually buy these with a uh, steel nib, um, but I upgraded to a gold nib. Uh, I could have got a Yovo or a Bok gold nib, I just decided to go for the cheaper uh, Mr. Cypress nibs. And as it's a Mr. Cypress pen, I thought having a Mr. Cypress branded nib on there uh, would probably be uh, a nice touch. So this is a uh, medium and it's a uh, 14 count gold uh, nib. Uh, and then the ink in here is uh, Ackermann. And it's Binnenhof Blues, which I do think is uh, quite a uh, nice uh, match uh, to the blue colour here on, on the pen. Um, I, I wanted a sort of more of a bluish, purplish, blurple, and, and I think Binnenhof Blues is, is a good match for that. The next pen is the Mr. Cypress, and this is the Kawari Nuri. And it's a deep light three. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And uh, obviously I've got this inked up with a red ink because it's a red pen. I do like to, where possible, match uh, ink colours to pen colours. So this is uh, the Mr. Cypress. Uh, Kawari. Nuri. Deep light three, and uh, it's again a medium 14 count gold nib. And uh, the ink in here is a uh, KWZ um, UK Pen Shows exclusive, and it's called Beef Eater Red. Beef Eater, as in the uh, Tower of London, and the, the beef eaters that, that guard uh, the tower. The next pen is a Mr. Cypress, and this is the Orchid Tree Val B. So I think we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. Now, again, uh, this is another red ink, being a red pen, um, but it is a lighter red, and I have to say I'm thinking about re-inking it with this ink here, the KWZ Beef Eater Red. So this is the Mr. Cypress uh, Orchid Tree Val B. Uh, and again, it's a, a medium 14 cat gold nib. Uh, and the ink in here at the moment is Diamine Poppy Red. 
but I'm finding it a little bit too on the bright side. Um, I did have a different red ink in there, and I swapped it out for poppy red, because, I, again, I didn't quite like it. Um, but I think, honestly, I'm probably going to go and use Beef Eater Red um, in, in that pen, uh, maybe at some point in the, in the near future. The next pen ink top is the Hong Dian, and this is the Rabbit pen. And I'm just going to see if I can see the... Uh, it's called the N23 Red Rabbit. Now, I know I'm not inking this up with a red ink. Um, I wanted to change the ink in here. And this was a new ink. And I just thought, you know what? Let's ink this one up. So this is uh, the Hong Dian. Which is a Chinese pen, and it's the N23 Rabbit. Uh, and it has uh, a blade nib, and it's a steel nib. And then the ink in here is, um, again, a UK Pen Show exclusive, and it is uh, KWZ, and it's called Old Smoke, which is the new... Uh, London or UK Pen Show uh, exclusive ink uh, that came out in October 2023. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of that. It's a little bit of a reddish grey. Um, I typically like darker grey inks. Uh, so I might actually swap that out and put another maybe Earl Grey or uh, Diamond Graphite in there. The next pen inked up is the Mr. Cypress, and this is the Eggshell 06. So I think let's go and do an ink swatch. And uh, this still has, I still have this inked up uh, with the same ink that I originally um, inked up with. Uh, I've, it, it's not that I've not run out. I've actually refilled this like dozens of times. Um, but this is the Mr. Cypress Eggshell 06. Uh, it's a medium and it's an 18 count gold nib. Uh, and the ink in here is a uh, Pelican uh, Edelstein Appetite. And I just think. I wasn't sure what ink to put in here originally, and I put that ink in there, and it's kind of stuck. But I think I might swap it out for another colour of ink. I'm just not sure which. It might be a blue, although I'm not a great fan of blue unless it's a turquoise. So maybe I'll go with a turquoise ink, possibly. Actually, that might make more sense, because I do like turquoise. So, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll swap it out for turquoise ink. Um, when when I'm out of ink, or maybe I'll just flush that pen out uh, later on. So the next pen inked up is the Eggshell 05A from Mr. Cypress. So uh, we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. Now, I did say that the Mr. Cypress nibs typically are quite firm or rigid. This one has a little bit more of a bounce to it. So I think there are some consistency differences between the nibs. So this is the Mr. Cypress, and it's the Eggshell 05A uh, in a medium, but it's a 14 count gold nib. Uh, and then the ink in here is at uh, Vora and Klinger. And it is uh, Verdura which is a nice green ink for me. The next pen ink up is the Mr. Cypress Varden Dragon. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. And I do have it inked up with a dark gray ink. Uh, I could go with a black ink. I'm just not a great fan of black inks. Don't really know why, other than the black inks typically are not black. They're more charcoal or dark grey. 
So typically I just um, gravitate more towards a dark gray ink. So this is a Mr. Cypress. And it is the Raden Dragon. And it's a medium and it's a 14 cat gold nib. Um, and uh, the ink in here is um, Diamine Graphite, which uh, is becoming a very more favorite gray of mine. Um, I would say, though, that the uh, this nib and also the nib on the Eggshell 05A are actually, for me, much better writing nibs uh, compared to some of the other Mr. Cypress. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but they typically write drier and finer, whereas... These two actually write more wetter and smoother, I would say. Uh, so it, I just find that I like those nibs slightly better than maybe the other Mr. Cypress nibs. The next pen inked up is the Anoto British Museum Great Court Vitreous. And we'll do an ink swatch here. And um, although this is a fine nib, I do still love how it writes. And it's just I'm not normally into fine nibs. It's more medium or broad nibs. So this is the Anoto, and it's the British Museum. Great Court. Uh, Vitreous. And I can swap the nib out. I've got other medium nibs. Um, so it's a fine, and it's an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is uh, Venustus uh, Aqua de Spargi which is a lovely turquoise colored ink and maybe that's the ink that I might put in this uh, eggshell 06 eventually uh, or something similar maybe a Lamy turquoise or uh, maybe a Visconti turquoise the next pen here inked up is the Anoto Platinum Jubilee in Sterling Silver. So we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. And you can see here that probably uh, from this ink swatch that this ink, uh, this nib is writing much, much wetter being a medium nib. And that's why I like this uh, these, these nibs a little bit more, these mediums. So this is the Anoto... Uh, platinum jubilee sterling silver uh, and it's a medium and it's a, an 18 cat gold nib and then the ink in here is diamine and it's majestic purple but that that writes really nicely yeah, more towards a broad, a western broad, I would say. But but um, I, I do find that those uh, medium nibs uh, from an Oto uh, are very nice writing nibs. And then the final pen inked up this week is the Anoto Coronation in Sterling Silver. So I think, again, we'll do uh, an ink swatch here. But again, uh, this is a medium nib and it just writes nice and wet. Although... I find that the ink in here that I've got at the moment is a drier um, ink. So this is uh, the um, Anoto Coronation uh, in Sterling Silver. And it's, uh, again, a medium 18 cat gold nib. And then the ink in here is a KWZ hawaii blue um i do like this ink i know i've said it probably a number of times before but hawaii blue i just think should be more of a turquoise colored ink from the name um but maybe that is just me um may, maybe like having a darker blue ink is actually what the blue seas around hawaii look like i always just think of them as more caribbean colored seas more lighter blue or green um or turquoisey um color um seas so i think let's go and 
look at these pens uh, inked up one more time. So we have a Mr. Cypress Kawari Nuri Deep Light 1 in a medium 14 count gold nib inked up with Ackermann Binnenhof Blues. We have a Mr. Cypress Kawari Nuri Deep Light 3 in a medium 14 count gold nib inked up with KWZ B to Red. We have a Mr. Cypress Orchid Tree Val B in a medium 14 count gold nib inked up with Diamond Poppy Red. We have a Hong Dian N23 Rabbit with a Blade Steel Nib inked up with KWZ Old Smoke. We have a Mr. Cypress Eggshell 06 in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Pelican Edelsign Appetite. We have a Mr. Cypress Eggshell 05A in a medium 14 count gold nib inked up with Royal and Klinger Verdura. We have a Mr. Cypress Rardent Dragon in a medium 14 count gold nib inked up with Diamine Graphite. We have an Anoto, and this is the British Museum Great Court Vitreous in a fine 18 count gold nib inked up with Venustus Aqua de Spargi. We have a Anoto Platinum Jubilee uh, Sterling Silver in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with Diamine Majestic Purple. And then we have an Anoto Coronation in Sterling Silver in a medium 18 count gold nib inked up with KWZ Hawaii Blue. So there you have it. That's my county ink pens for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.